So today I'm going to show you how to change your screen resolution in uh, Ubuntu. What I have running here is Ubuntu 16.04, but as long as your Ubuntu has the Unity interface, then this will be exactly the same, and it looks like they're going to stick with it for a while, so you should be good to go. So uh, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is go up into the top right where there's the little gear icon they have right here, and then go to the system settings. And then once here, you'll see an option for displays. And then there's a drop down right here that allows you to set your resolution. If you have multiple screens, then they'll both show up here or all of them will show up up here. And you'll need to select the one that you want to change the resolution of before you actually set the resolution. Um, in the list of resolutions here, there may be an option that you want that isn't in the list. And that would normally be because your screen either doesn't support that resolution or your video card drivers aren't up to date enough to support it or your video card is too old. So the very first thing is if there's resolution here you wanted, like if you wanted to run your computer at 1080p but the option wasn't there, first thing to do is look up your screen on Google just to make sure that your screen actually supports that resolution. And if it does, then you need to start investigating your video card, like maybe check if, you're, if you have the most uh, up-to-date video card drivers, or also check if your video card can support that resolution. Then as long as everything is good to go there, then all resolutions that are available should be right here. And uh, after you've selected it, just hit apply and uh, then it'll pop up with this window asking if you want to keep it, which is basically just so that if you put a resolution that the monitor couldn't support and it just blacked out the screen, then after 30 seconds, it's gonna go back to what was working before. So as long as you can see it, just hit keep this configuration and now you're all good to go.